Welcome back to Just Nigeria, the show for today's social media generation from the BBC and Channels TV. Thanks for staying here. Coming up, the nutritionist treating malnourished children in Africa. Before we take that story, uh, the aviation sector is one of the industries severely affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Commercial and non-essential flights are still grounded, jobs have been lost, and some employees have had to take pay cuts. But one young Nigerian in this industry has found a creative way of keeping his staff and even employing more. Meet Isaac Balami, the aircraft engineer. We went into this to see how we can rescue jobs, first of all, because the aim was not to suck. My daughter, at the age of 11, she could sew her school uniform, decided to make a face mask for me. Friends and families began to, within the first three, four days of the lockdown, began to request for it. And um, before you know it, somebody asked for a dozen, somebody asked for 50, somebody asked for 100. So I said, okay, then let's make this happen. We went into Lagos market where we acquired 50 to start with industrial sewing machines. And surprisingly, there were over 200 tailors from Yaba and Suruleri alone that were willing to come and actually work with us. We have 500 industrial sewing machines as of today across five different locations. And each of these machines need to be operated by 500 tailors. And because we run two shifts, we will say we have about a thousand tailors presently, excluding other support staff doing the printing, the branding, the logistic, buying of the material and what have you, and the store. So we have over a thousand staffs. At the entrance of the aircraft hangar where the factory is, your temperature has been checked. If there is an abnormality, we have to isolate you. Your hands must be sanitized at the entrance of the factory. Uh, we try our best to observe social distancing and we make sure that our factory employees, you know, use their face mask as much as they can. We, on our own, reach out to SON. That is the standard organization of Nigeria. So what SON did was to say, OK, this is how best to do it. They improved everything. This must be the material that you must use. It must be 100% pure cotton. The finishing must be this way, the breathability, the comfort. And today, we are proud to say, at least in Nigeria, we are SON compliant. We are so happy because our first clients so far have been the aviation industry. The airlines are even calling us now that once flights resume, they want us to boost our production, which is why we are expanding here. But the whole idea is to have between 1,000 to 1,500 industrial strain machines in the next six months. And the whole idea is if you run two shifts, you're talking about 3,000 tailors, uh, excluding support staff and other staff working in other sections. So, Comfortably, you know, we can say uh, in the next six months, even if uh, the pandemic comes to an end, we can still, you know, expand, you know, and scale up this part of the business to see how we can also engage at least 5,000 young persons across Nigeria. I gain a lot, apart from even earning money. Actually, I never knew I can be making money in this um period because I was actually thinking how I'm going to survive it. But I never believed it. I feel like is it possible when other people are retrenching their staff, when they are dropping their staff, do you think any company can employ a staff now? We are making so much impact by the number of people that we are taking off the streets. And that is for us a thing of pride that while some people are saying that in the last two, three months they've not earned a dime. Uh, we have people that are taking care of their families, you know, getting something no matter how small. 